Hi everyone, Marianne Markowitz. This week's session, we're continuing on our career. How can we use questions? Because the better the questions are, the better the answers you will have internally. It's all about career mindset. And today we're going to use the exercise of creating your vision board for your ideal position. Perhaps you've heard of vision boards. Maybe you're one of those people like me that you that has a vision board and every year you update it. I've done that for this year. And some years you will knock it out of the park. A couple of years ago, I did that. And last year was like, mm, you know, um, some of the things that really got accomplished weren't necessarily on that board. Not a good advertisement for this video, but it's still... I still accomplished a lot, but for right now, I just want you to focus on, let's say you're, let's say you're happy in your job, but maybe you're not getting the promotions you want. You can use this. Let's say you're someone who's miserable in your job. You can absolutely, you absolutely use this. And maybe you're someone who has a job and you're, you're okay with it, but there's something else burning in side of you that you want to do. Okay, great. Pull out your notes. What you're going to do over the next week is you're going to create a collection of meaningful words, illustrations, and photographs. So I'm going to assume, since this is predominantly on LinkedIn and YouTube, that, that we have professionals here, meaning I know a lot of accountants, a lot of human resource professionals. So Entrepreneur Magazine has a lot of really good articles and, and pictures in there that you can use, whether you're pursuing the entrepreneurial or the professional standpoint. I'm trying to think there was someone, um, might have been, well, it'll come to me. All right, so you want to pull out all of these wonderful, fun tools that, that you can paste up on a board. So buy yourself a, you know, a good size board. I have one over here in um, my adjoining room and it's cork and I use black pens and that way I can rearrange things. I, I prefer that personally than um, gluing it on there. And you can do that too. You can go to dollar and a half tree and buy a big, you know, um, whiteboard and, and get your glue and you can do that too. No right or wrong answer. But you want to bring in your aspirations, your um, just what you would really, really love to be doing in your job and, and think about fun ways to create this. And what's wonderful about a vision board is it helps unlock that creative side of our brain. It's like drawing is a wonderful outlet. Cooking is a wonderful outlet. Again, you want to access the right side of our brain because that's where when you close your eyes and you're imagining something, you're maybe you're really, really relaxed and you're hanging out on the beach and you have this hit of an idea. That's called a hit of inspiration, meaning it's coming from the spiritual side of you. And creating a visual board helps you uncover these hopes, dreams, and desires. And these are things that we can't really measure. But if you get that feeling about that hope, dream, or desire, that's when, again, we're accessing the spiritual side of us and it will start coming to you. You still have to do the work. Like you still have to create your vision board. You can't just say, oh yeah, I kind of know what I want. It's going to show up. No. We have to purposely put our energy and our love and our nurturing into it. So start pulling together your materials. This is part of the creative process. And you want to, um, oh, here's an idea. The, the internet is just has an unlimited amount of visuals out there. And one tool I recommend when I'm working with people on the career coaching side is um, you can use vista.com and Canva. Both of those will allow you to create a free LinkedIn banner, for instance. And you want to, um, again, go in there and use visuals. If you want to um, 
you know, say that uh, your new job allows you to work re remotely. And so you have pictures of where you want to work remotely. I have been watching YouTube videos of all the people who are working remotely from Mexico. I'm so jealous. And um, so if that's a desire of yours, then put that up on your vision board. Where do you want to work? So again, use the internet to open up the creativity because creativity is always where the solution is found. It's not from being nasty to somebody else in the, in the board meeting. It's about, you know, let's do some brainstorming here. And so just like last week's video, what, what did you want to be when you grow up? Just let those creative juices start flowing. So brainstorming, what would your ideal job look like? Keeping in mind, we're all very unique. Even if we've got an office of five accountants, each one of those accountants bring a unique skill. Some of them are better at using and trusting their intuition about, you know, this is just not adding up here. I'm going to go dig and find out what's really going on. And so let your personality shine through. Maybe you're that person who is just amazing at getting down to the last penny and still being efficient about it. You know, that's where our strengths can be our weaknesses sometimes. So these questions um, I'm going to give you now will help you clarify what you want to put up on that vision board. So again, where would you work? You know, what would your environment look like? Do you want to work remotely? Do you want to have um, are you somebody that likes to work out in the field or maybe a plant controller? So you like to be out there where the, where the work is done. Again, Find things that, that resonate with you and what you want that vision to be like. And who would you work for? What um, kind of person? What kind of title are they going to have? How are they going to be a mentor to you? And maybe that's something you want to put up there, a mentor. I've had people call me about that and say, I'm, how do I find a mentor? So put that up on your vision board. This is what I want in my next position. What industry or field do you want to work in? Be very clear about where you feel like these are my innate strengths. These are my passions. And where will those be um, cultivated when you move into that job? And again, what would this job allow you to do? How are you going to grow and who are you going to be in two, three, five years? And how are you going to feel about this ideal job? I mentioned it earlier when we are thinking about what we, what we really want in that, that future moment. If we have that, that, that tingly feeling inside, then you're on the right track. Let's say you don't and you, you just can't, as we say, get our mind around it, then, then step back and say, hmm, is it because I'm reaching for this, but I don't have the right skills for this yet? Okay, then that's a good moment to step back and say, hmm, I really, really want this. And in the interim, this is what I'm going to do. And then in the other interim, I'm going to be happy where I'm at because I, I know what I want. And these are the things and the skills I need to learn. Maybe it's you need to you know, sign up for a um, course on how to use Excel and, and writing formulas or some other, um, if you're applying for, the, for jobs and the same software keeps coming up. That's the beautiful thing about the internet right now is there are courses out there available for just about everything. And use it to your advantage. You will be so much happier just internally knowing that I have empowered myself to move forward because I went out there and I took the initiative to learn how to do this particular skill set. And again, if you're, you know, dreaming about what you want, just take time and have fun in the next week creating that job, that job board, because there are unlimited resources out there. And now, let's say a week has gone by, you've used either 
method, the Marianne method, which is the cart and which is the, you know, the cork board with the, the pen. So I can, you know, sometimes I'll walk in and I'll go, hmm, oh, that, that's not hitting me. So I'll, I'll move the pictures around. And that's almost like moving the energy and, and the, the thought process around. Trust your intuition. And again, just bring in more and more creativity about what you want on that board. Again, these are wonderful exercises if you're, again, I'm going to choose, are you happy where you are, but you want a little more? Fine. Let's be proactive about it and create that vision board. Because when, when you're doing that, you're actually almost out there, um, you know, excavating ideas. Because you may say, well, I'm happy where I'm at, but I'd like, I think I want to move to this department. Create a vision board about that because it'll, it'll help you with the brainstorming storming portion of, oh, well, there's this um, colleague of mine I really like and I can, can, can connect with her and, um, you know, see what's going on over there. So again, just bring in as many ideas as you can. Now, as you are putting together this board, you may have, um, you, you may be attracted to a certain color when you're out there on Canva or Vista or one of these tools. That's fine. Then, then maybe you want to use um, text and create some, some affirmations for you using that color. Because all of these colors and maybe an abstract image put up there together collectively will will again bring up that creativity for you. So I'm all about how can we continue to nurture our, our spiritual side, which allows you to be connected to your intuition. And intuition is that ability again, and I've heard these stories, I mean, I just would love interviewing people who would say, well, you know, I'm, I'm a, a, finance person, but I started out in accounting and how they would, again, listen to their intuition and say, you know, this, this doesn't look right. And because they had the skill set, they could go through and dig. So what are your unique um, skill set that'll allow your personality to shine as you are putting together your vision board? So just have fun with this. And once you have it done, Think about, hmm, what, what, what stands out the most now that I'm looking at this? You will more than likely find that there's common themes somewhere on the board. So what stands out? And what are the skills and interests that are reflected in there? And lastly, again, what are the emotions and feelings? I mean, how do you feel about um, seeing that all put together? And what's important to you? So just have fun. What specific careers would match you based on what you've put on this board? This may open up another idea for you. And lastly, what is a very small step you can take to get closer to that ideal job? Always want to leave you with well, what action can I do? For today, I want you to be thinking about, oh, I want to go get an entrepreneur magazine or some other business magazines that'll, because again, they're just so much fun to be able to, to pull some of that glossy stuff and then add our internet images and, and colors and, and images there. Just get ready to let your creativity flow and report back to me. What, what insights have, has, this shared, has this given to you? And as I was doing it, I had the inspiration to take a picture of mine and, and add it as my wallpaper on my um, cell phone. I'd show you, but you can see how everything's all blurry behind me. And actually, that's something uh, from a, uh, I belong to a couple of group coaching um, yeah, groups. And uh, one of my coaches, she says, you know, take a picture of your vision board, keep it on your phone. And every hour, just check in with yourself. Am I, am I on, you know, have I got my feelings, my vibes right? So think about that. And again, report back. 